The overall goal of the following experiment is to isolate neurons that retain attached, pinched-off synaptic butons that allow for pharmacological control and improved space clamp while eliminating the influence of neighboring cells. This is achieved by preparing acute brain slices from rat or mice from postnatal day P1 to P21 containing the brain area of interest to isolate individual neurons. As a second step, the acute slices are placed in a dish and a flame-sealed glass micropipette is vibrated within the area of interest while moving the tip through the slice, which liberates individual neurons. The neurons are allowed time to attach to the bottom of the dish. Next, the dish containing vibro-dissociated neurons is moved to a microscope in order to examine synaptic physiology, pharmacology, modulation, plasticity, as well as real-time imaging and characterization of pre- and postsynaptic elements in the living cell. Results are obtained that show the physiologic and pharmacologic characteristics of synaptic responses and associated changes in presynaptic terminal function through tight seal whole cell recording and fluorescence microscopy. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like recording from brain slices, cultured neurons, and enzymatically dissociated neurons, is that the attached pinched off synaptic boutons allows for the control and visualization of presynaptic elements while the relatively compact postsynaptic structure allows for improved voltage clamp and outstanding control of the extracellular environment. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because the yield to get healthy neurons can vary dramatically depending on several conditions, such as the age of animal, the vibration parameters, and the area of interest in the slice. Also, individual whole cell recordings persist for less time than in conventional slice recordings. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the vibro